listening to Jonesy's Jukebox and Carl OS. That was New Foles. Black Ball is the name of that track from the new album, part two. Every not, everything not saved will be lost. That's out October 18th. And then we had the band Wheels on Fire. Do you remember that song? I do. I, I remember it as the theme from Absolutely Fabulous. Who was singing that version? Was that Adrian Edmonston who actually sang that version? Um, I, th I think he actually sang it for the show. I think that's the version I yeah, know. Yeah, that's the one I know too. Yeah, a lot of people covered it apparently. Mm. Uh, that was the band. Uh, the band keyboardist Garth Hudson was born on this day in 1937. What does that make him then? Old. Wow. <laughs> That's a long time ago. <laughs> Is he still alive? Okay. You're testing our powers of maths, which... So he, he, <laughs> might, he might be 80 then. Yeah. He might be 80. Mm. It's good not knowing, though. It's, it's good just dabbing his uh, thing. <laughs> Cheap Trick, California Man. Beautiful. And we're here with Alpha Nicholas Buckland. Correct. Did I say that right? You said that perfectly. You're an Aussie. I am an Aussie. Get a L A. L A. L A. You know, it almost looks like Auckland. Auckland. Buckland. So then I would be New Zealand. Same kind of accent, yeah. though, right? Sort of. Yeah. They is get they, they get all their vowels back the front. Yeah. Is it different though? Yeah, it's like butter. Muster, muster, take these broken wings. <laughs> uh, excuse. <laughs> me? I was trying to say, Mister, Mister, take these broken wings. Oh. Muster, muster, take these broken wings. What, what does muster, muster mean? Because they've changed the e sound to oh, uh. Mister. Yeah, muster, muster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Were they all criminals too? I don't know. <laughs> in, in, uh, they like sheep. New Zealand? They like sheep so a lot. So do you lot? We do, yeah, but uh, only after a few wines. You probably... <laughs> but um, but um, you probably have uh, a lot more sheep because Australia's a lot bigger, right? That is true. We've got a lot of more desert though, so the sheep will all die there. <laughs> they don't eat sand? No, no. Well, I haven't tried feeding sand to my sheep. I don't yeah. actually have sheep, but if yeah. I had sheep, I, would, sheep, I wouldn't be feeding sand. You'd to probably them give them grass. I probably would. Well, you have a yeah. sheep story. Uh-oh. No, that's for the after dark <laughs> You're special. making Shovel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his feelings out real quick. Oh. <laughs> no, no sheep stories. No. Is, it, is it naughty? I don't actually have a sheep story. I don't, okay. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> no, I that, I'm, I'm claiming the, the, the fifth or the fourth <laughs> or the third. The I don't know my... my, okay. the, fifth. my yeah, the fifth. Well, yeah. people are probably wondering, who the hell is this bloke? And you are myself I, or Nicholas? Oh, sorry, me. Sorry, me. You got shades on. I got shades on. You don't know who I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm looking at this bloke. I am an author of a, a book that I've done with uh, the rock band Kiss, and this is basically a book on all the crazy merchandise of the 1970s. So it's really for all us big kids out there. I'm 45, but I feel about 10 years old when I read this book. So do, do you actually have you? collected all of Kiss? Look, I've, I've collected a lot of stuff, but um, a lot of this stuff comes from all around the world, from Norway, from Japan, from Sweden, from Mexico. They've all been shooting stuff, especially for this book. It's the archive of all the toys and stuff. Think about Star Wars and what they brought out in the 1970s. Yeah. Pretty much Kiss did the same thing. Bed sheets, bins, everything. So it, it, this is not your stuff. This is pictures of everyone of, who's... This is pictures of everything from 1973 to when they took the makeup off in 83. It's basically all the... All the crazy stuff that Kiss but some released. Of that, some of that stuff is yours. Some of the stuff is mine, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I'm, I'm not that rich to own everything in this 392-page book. So where'd you get the photos from? Fans? Uh, well, I shot about 60% of it myself um, and then from other fans. So I was creative directing people from all around the world. I had a guy in Norway. I needed more light on something, and he told me he could take it out into the snow and shoot it. So he's he's out there in a blizzard trying to get some nice white light on the product. <laughs> Do you give him credit for it? I, I gave them all credit. Yeah, everyone's been so generous. Everyone contributed to the book. Yeah. What's your obsession with Kiss? Um, it's it's that mixture of superhero and band. So great rock and roll music, and they were superheroes because I always loved the comics when I was younger. So it was all. They, they just meld, m merge the two together. The superhero plus band. Do you live in... Aus uh, Aus I live in Sydney, Australia. So have you ever seen them here or did you... you obviously seen them in Australia. Yeah, I've seen them in Australia. Um, I haven't seen them play live here yet. Yeah, when, what year did you first see them? Well, they, take, they, took, they toured 
they had the big tour in 1980, the whole of Australia went crazy. It was like yeah. the ABBA craze and it was the KISS craze. Um, but I was only five years old at the time, so I had to wait till they came back in 1995. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a long time. And did you, you obviously had all their records before you saw had them? Had all their records, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, you, you don't build a career this long with, if the music is totally bad. So it, I, I love the music first and then I started you know, liking all the toys and stuff. Again, being a big kid, collecting Masters of the Universe and all that stuff, so I just can't... I love, I love cool, kitsch things. They didn't, they didn't really take off in England. No, it's a strange one. I used to work on Mojo magazine yeah. when I was in London, yeah. and the art director, Wag, he loves Kiss and all that, but the rest of the journalists, it was like, you know... They thought they were like a jo- jokey... They thought they thing. were a joke band. What, what did you think at the time... I running a parallel career. I didn't really... Like, what would you say their biggest... When did they start? They started in 1974, really. Okay, yeah. so that's when... 74. Yeah. We then, started in 75. Yeah. And I, I, to be honest with you, I weren't really that aware, aware of them. I mean, mm. a little bit. I remember the outfits yeah. and the faces and the tongue yeah. and all that and the big boots. Mm. But... um. I don't know. It, it didn't. It didn't appeal to me either yeah. at the time. Like, would would a twenty year old you have thought that it was totally ridiculous and not worthy of being a band? I don't know. Like, it, what do you think? It, English, it's, it's, you know, you can you can never tell mm. what bands are going to make it here or make it in England. Yeah, exactly. Our some bands who are from here make it bigger in England. Yeah. Some bands can't get arrested in England, but a big mm. ear. It, I don't like, know the rhyme or reason. I like mean, I, it I, took them three or four records to even break in, in, in the, the States. States. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. until 75, right? Mm. The Alive album that they yeah. actually yeah. did something. And you said 74, wasn't it? Yeah. It was 73. Yeah. 73 is when they yeah. kind of formed. But yeah, I mean, right. you look at ACDC had to really move to London before they could actually make it. Like Jimmy you know, Hendrix. Like, yeah, well, like that, yeah. Um, and then there's people like Lenny Kravitz who are who tours big everywhere else and, and in London he was he said he couldn't get arrested in London. Yeah. yeah. So it's a strange one. We're also here with artist Ajax. Hello. Founder of the Eerie Pop. Yes. I was watching uh I was watching uh, the Warriors the other day. Oh <laughs> no. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so this is common news. About Ajax? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is that where you got it from? No, no. Ajax actually came from uh, my first job was a dishwasher. Oh, and you used to use Ajax to clean the the stuff. (laughs) Exactly. That's awesome. And uh, uh, the powdery, gritty stuff, right? Yes. To really get the The, grime out. There was there was a cook named Norman, and I used to call him Storm and Norman because it could get hectic in the kitchen. And uh, yeah, he used to get really angry at this long-haired, snotty punk that used to work in the kitchen, and he say get back in the kitchen and cook or get back in the in the uh, in the uh, dishwashing area and wash them dishes ajax so, so that's what you used to wa- wash the things with well i would clean up i i guess because it's not really good for no but i would you know they would have these like uh uh, uh what do you call those pots that you would like <laughs> bake stuff in and you'd have to use something really like a scouring uh right right like and, a pillow and, pad exactly and and I, and I would pour ajax on it and Scrub them down with that just to get it out. Are we really having this discussion at this hour of the? Mo- is it morning? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So Ajax. No, it's not morning. It's twenty past twelve. Well, to guys like you and I, this is pretty early. I, I get up early, mate. You get up earlier than I, this. I was up at seven this morning. I got young wow. kids, so I've. I've been when up you're at, old, when you're old, yeah. you get up early. Yeah, exactly. Come in a little bit. Can't hear you. Wow. <sighs> The name of the book yeah. is The Hottest Brand in the Land. The Hottest Brand in the Land. The Hottest Brand in the Land. That was a terrible That's, Aussie accent. Well, even that one that I did then was even more terrible. Yeah, but you weren't trying to be Aussie. No, I know. You were trying to be <laughs> I was trying to be New Zealand south. again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks, it looks very impressive. It's a beautiful book. Did, yeah. they do their, did, did they have their own makeup line, Kiss? Yes, they yeah. do. They do do kiss makeup. Yeah. Who do yeah. you think is like the real brains? Both the two of them, right? Probably the brainiacs with a. Yeah, like I mean, as uh, back back in the day, you had a, a guy, a manager called Bill Coin, and Bill he, Coyne, he, yeah, yeah, and he he had a great sort of television and sort of not really a band background. He was sort of a real marketeer, so he was kind of the brains behind it in the seventies. But then um, Gene has probably sort of taken that mantle now over, you know, in in the modern era behind marketing and 
media. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think all that started with the Beatles? I think so, yeah. And it, but it, I, I think all that, the different things you could get. But I also think that the reason that it started was to take control of their own merchandise because the Beatles had a lot of merchandise, but they, you know, they didn't always have the rights to it. So someone else was getting rich, and the yeah. Beatles weren't, weren't getting rich on their own Licensed licensing. Thing, so yeah. I think Kiss were the first ones to bring it in house, yeah. create their own, license their own stuff, and actually take in the windfall of the money. You yeah. know, the the image of the band too. They were. Uh, they were sort of uh, chasing the New York Dolls Kiss. back then. Yeah. Yeah. In in New York. Yeah. You know, the dolls were No, he says that. Yeah. Paul like, said that. Yeah, they were they were, you know, physically larger larger guys than Thunders and, and the rest of the guys yeah. and the dolls. And so they were like, We had to go you know, we would look goofy if we walked around in like mini skirts yeah. and tutus or they whatever. They couldn't have so. done a Bowie basically. Yeah. Right. But uh but it's funny, even though they they didn't look feminine with their gear on Kiss, they just looked like monsters or something. Yeah, I think I think they were trying to be superheroes rather than yeah. look, looking like like feminine and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And what about Paul? Paul's a beautiful man. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of carried the glam. He did yeah, it. Yeah. He, 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 he swaggered his yeah. a bit a bit lightly. Yeah. On stage. <laughs> 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 and Ace as well. Ace had a very androgynous thing going, mm. you know, throughout most of the the Kiss, the the makeup days. And then you had a pussy cat behind the drums, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, Gene of course was very non uh, glammy. He he really, his image really pushed the uh, the superhero thing, you know, vomiting blood, breathing fire. Mm. So and the tongue. Yeah. And the tongue. Well, I think yeah. he was a big fan of Godzilla too, so he liked all those kind of yeah. Japanese horror things. So I think he saw himself as that kind of. So yeah. you really know you're like a real nerd with Kiss. Have I am you, a have super you nerd. Have you met them? I have met them before. Yeah. I, Would you I've, shake him when you met him? No, not really. I mean, I, used to, I because I worked in music mags and stuff. I've interviewed okay. Gene, Gene for FHM and stuff yeah. like that before. So yeah, I wasn't shaking. No, um, no. <laughs> so it's, it's more about the whole thing. Exactly. This book is actually almost a bit removed from the music. Yeah. I love the music. This thing is about exactly the hottest brand in the land. They were just they were just selling themselves. I think they just saw Star Wars and went, if Star Wars can do it, we can do the same thing. Very few bands would be able to do this. And if you look at the other, other people that went along with them, the people who would re release the same kind of products, it was Mork and Mindy, Welcome Back Cotter, The Muppets and Kiss. They, you wouldn't, you weren't getting Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd and those bands licensing alongside yeah. the same kind yeah, of products yeah, at the yeah. time. Now everyone licenses, of yeah, course, because it's a big money thing. Yeah. But at the time, it was really Kiss, and and all their 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 label mates were, you know, Chips, you know, Gilligan's Island and stuff like that. Yeah. That's it. Possibly didn't help them in the long run of yeah. how they were viewed, but I don't think they sort of cared at that time. Yeah, I got a bobblehead. Yeah, looks nothing like me. Oh, <laughs> I, only, I, I only got it a couple of years ago too. Was it official? Was, was yeah, there... it's official, but it looks nothing like me. I need to find this. It looks more like Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> What's Johnny's one like? It looks like him. It looks a little bit like him. Better, yeah. more yeah, better, yeah. and Sid. Yeah, okay. Poor old Cookie got weighed out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Them drummers. Okay. <laughs> Expendable. <laughs> oh, man. How, how long ago did those bobbleheads come out? Well, for me, uh, I don't know, three years ago? Okay. Something like that, maybe a bit longer. Was it Funko? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, they come in the little boxes. Okay. Have yeah. you had a pop vinyl? Uh, yeah, yeah. You Sex Pistols have, 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 had, have a pop had, vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are you up to, uh, Mr. Ajax? Well, sort of attached to this in a I way. I want to thank you for making that beautiful picture of me. Oh, you're very welcome. I took you home. You're a beautiful man. I know. I saw that. At first, uh, I think uh, one of these guys said, "Some." I think somebody stole it, and I and, it, and I was like. I hope nobody stole it. Someone stole you, it. It was me who stole it, you, it yeah. from myself. <laughs> so I'm working on a project uh, uh, that is sort of KISS related uh, with a gentleman that actually did all the, the merchandising and licensing for them called uh, Boutwell Enterprises in the 70s. Mm. And um, yeah, the stories are just crazy. You know, you, you go back. When I started talking to him, he's, he's also... Uh, in his 80s and uh, you know about midway through our conversations 
which are recorded per him, um, I was just blown away. I, I thought, this is a movie. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, took the recordings, let, let a producer, a friend of mine hear them, and he was shocked. He also was, you know, this is, this is a motion picture for sure. Could so, I be in it? Yeah, absolutely. Now I have you on record. You're in it. I got a call from someone uh, for that TV show, The Con Connors. You know the Connors. Mm, Connors. Mm. Is it a, is it an American show? Yeah, I think I think I think that was the show Roseanne Bar, Bar used to be oh, until she got the boot. Yeah. Oh, that was a recent. Yeah. That was a recent thing. Right, right, right. They wanted you on it. They do. They they well, want me to do a guest appearance. You should do it. You think so? I mm. think so. When is uh this is official licensed story of the Kiss merchandising craze of the late seventies and eighties. So they they've approved this, obviously. That's correct. Yeah, and it's an uh, official Kiss book. And is it when's it out now? It is coming out. It'll be shipping in about three weeks. But yeah, it's kind of out now. And it's called the hottest brand in the land. In the land. In the land. Because of the original thing they used to <clears> yell out before the concert, "You wanted the best, you got the best." The hottest band in the land, Kiss. So we just did a little okay. play on that brand and band. Got it. Yeah. Good day. Good day. We, we playing some music. Oh, we're saying goodbye. Starcrawler's oh. coming up. Starcrawler's coming up next. And uh, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, great. Is this for me? Yes, you can have that. Did you sign it? I haven't signed it yet, no. Will would you, you like sign me to? it? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. I would like you to sign <laughs> it, yes. <laughs> sure. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> 